Is it safe to say that yesterday was not a good day for my Commodore? And the reason why I say that is because as you can tell by the title of this video, NHL on NBC has hired Mike Babcock, former NHL head coach Mike Babcock, as a studio analyst. Along with him, they also hired Dominic Moore and Ottawa Senators legend Ryan Callahan. Of course, I'm just joking about that. He never played a game for the Sens, as we all know. Um, but for Mike Babcock, he's really, I think, the key component here. He's really the, 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 the meat of the topic, I guess you could say. Is his, his hiring is a bit of a surprise. I mean, it just almost seems like, you know, he was kind of blacklisted uh, as far as coaching goes anyways. But Mike Babcock, I mean, that freaking guy, like, he's just, he's risen up all the allegations against him, all the stuff he said. You know, this player saying, oh, he looked at me the wrong way in practice. Uh, oh, he said my breath smelled bad. Um, I mean, all, all of that, and he's risen up to the top, and, and he's back in, in the hockey circle. Not, a, not right in it, but in it in a way, I still think, as a media personnel now, but not as a head coach. As we know, he was interviewed by the Washington Capitals to be a head coach for their team back a few months ago. Obviously, we know Peter Laviolette. Easy for me to say, got that job. All that aside, I mean, I'm not trying to demean or put down any of the people who, you know, had problems with Mike Babcock. Obviously, there were some really serious ones like Johan Franson. I mean, Babs gave him a, uh, apparently gave him a nervous breakdown. And so anytime you're that cruel to someone that you can give them a nervous breakdown, I mean, that's obviously not a good thing. You should probably go look at yourself in the mirror and have some self-reflection and try and get better as a person. But let's hope he has gotten better as a person because you know what? Babcock, if he's anything like he was as a coach on NBC, that attitude's just not gonna fly. And I don't expect he will be like that with his coworkers. I don't think he's gonna be coming in, bossing around Catherine Tappan, uh, Patrick Sharp, Anson Carter, so to speak. I mean, I don't even think he's gonna be able to do it to the new guys, Dominic Moore, Ryan Callahan, as he would probably be shown the door fairly quickly, I would think, in an environment like that. Obviously, as a coach, you probably have more power than you do as a studio analyst, I would have to imagine. But for Babcock, I mean, does he ever get back behind an NHL bench now? Is this kind of the signification that maybe those days are over, he's turning over a new page in his life, he's going to be a media personnel now for, for hockey as opposed to being a head coach? And that's not always the case that this signifies the end. As we all know, back in 2008, John Tortorella had a brief stint on TSN as an analyst after he was let go by the Tampa Bay Lightning and of course we all know he came back behind the bench and he's he's been a, a very successful coach ever since then so this doesn't signify the end for sure for Babcock but usually when a coach does leave the bench and get into the studio or begin commentating or whatever most likely it does kind of mean they're done with coaching and for Babcock I think he is going to have a tough time getting another job after all those allegations I don't know if you'll have as tough of a time getting him as, as Bill Peters. Uh, obviously, we know that situation was just an absolute uh, dumpster fire. Just terrible. I mean, he had racial, uh, he said racial things to a, a young man in the AHL, uh, which is just terrible to think of. And I mean, I don't know why he would try to, to, to be against someone or be against someone because of their skin color is just beyond me. Fortunately for Babcock's sake, he has never said anything racial or been accused of saying anything racial. He's just been kind of a, a bit of a, a tyrant, I guess, so to speak. And people didn't like him obviously for that, but now he's in the studio and uh, I think it's some interesting times ahead. It's going to be pretty uh, cool to hear him speak with that signature voice. Imagine him, he should just get up there and like, if there's a game where like Toronto's playing, say the Leafs are playing on NBC or something, they're in America and they're playing on NBC. Like I'm serious, he should just like get up there and like rip into the players that he was rumored to not like, like like a William Nylander or someone like, oh, you know Willie, he doesn't really back check all that much. Uh, everyone thought I was the problem as a coach in Toronto, but now you're seeing that I wasn't the problem because these players are just too lazy. These millennials, they don't wanna, they don't wanna work hard. They don't wanna put in the work. They're not good pros. They eat too much junk food. They play video games. They're not getting their their Z's at night. You know, they're not sleeping enough. 
Uh, they're not, they don't work hard in practice. They're just not being a good pro, you know? Like, I like for Babcock to just get up and say his, his common phrases that he likes to say. And uh, just rip into his old team would be absolutely hilarious. It would just look like he's so bitter at them. And he's going to get them back by roasting them on live television. But guys, that's what I think of this topic about Babcock being hired uh, by NBC. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Also, I'd like to hear, do you guys think Babcock's going to ever be back behind an NHL bench? Or is he just on the blacklist completely now and he's just not going to ever get a shot at being an NHL coach ever again? Those were some pretty nasty allegations against him. As we know, everyone really piled on him once he got let go by Toronto uh, November of 2019. Um, but yeah, let me know. Uh, is he going to be back behind the bench or is this his swan song uh, as far as coaching goes and he's, he's going to be a full-time analyst for, for good now? We'll see how that goes. Please like and subscribe and share this video. Thank you, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you again soon.